Hello. Today I'm going to share with you a cool little NLP trick. It's called a state change technique. Why do we want to change our state? Well, there's plenty of circumstances in our lives where it would be very handy to be able to change the state of mind we're in in the moment. Maybe you're about to do a public speech and you want to feel confidence, or maybe you're about to visit a loved one in hospital and you want to have that joy in your heart to give them. Or maybe you're feeling anxious and you want to be able to tap into a feeling of peace. So what is a state of mind? Well, in NLP, we're taught that it's basically a neural peptide that's pumping out um, through our brain to create that chemical reaction that gives us that feeling. But essentially, it's also important to remember that emotions equal motion. Whatever we're feeling will be affected physically. So let's say we're feeling sad, we're probably going to slouch a little bit and our shoulders are going to curl down and our head's going to look down. That depressed kind of stance that is very well um, recognised. Or we might feel happy and what we do is we kind of open up and our, our smile increases, our eyes become wider, our chin goes a little higher, we have a more confident stride. So absolutely, when we are feeling certain emotions, our physiological response will be appropriate to the emotion. And the same goes vice versa. So you might have changed your physiological approach and you will feel differently. So you might, for example, be feeling depressed, but you're like, I'm not going to feel this anymore. And you just decide to physically change, put your shoulders back and down, smile, walk with more confident stride, and you'll start to change your emotion your emotion so these are interchangeable motion and emotion are interchangeable so how do we change our state well first I'm going to take you through the very basic steps first we want to recall a time when we felt us that exact state of mind in the past now we're remembering that the mind doesn't know the difference between something it imagines and something that it experiences in real life so Bringing up a memory of a time when you felt this emotion that you want to feel again is so powerful. Let's just use the example of joy. Let's say, well, we want to jump into a state of joy. So how do we do that? Well, first, bring up a memory of a time that you felt genuine joy. Maybe it was laughing with a bunch of loved ones or watching a funny TV show or movie or uh, being goofy with um, a child playing. It could be a many different things. It's a personal thing, but make sure that this memory really is vivid for you. You can step right into that memory in your mind's eye and feel the emotion again. This is the power of our mind. And then using all of your senses within this memory, you've stepped into this memory. You become intimately aware of every last detail of this experience. So we're going to be consciously looking around within the memory of what was going on. And don't worry, I will guide you through that experience in a moment. And then we're going to intensify that feeling. We're going to imagine just bringing it up several notches in intensity, making all the elements of this memory, this experience more intense. And then when we've done that, when you feel this state is at its absolute strongest, let's say the state of joy, we're going to squeeze our hand. This is We can do this in many ways, but today I'm going to do the hand squeeze as our physical anchor. So what is an anchor? Well, we're just linking the emotion to a physical move. Motion equals emotion. So once we've done that, your emotional state will often determine how successful you are in permanently changing a bad habit. And this is why it's a really great idea to be able to tap into these tools. So you can make further powerful changes by learning how to change your emotional states instantly to be more resourceful. Hence why learning a state change technique is very helpful. So if you change your emotional state, you will inevitably change your emotional behavior. I think I can't put a finer point on that today. So anchoring, when we do the squeeze of the hand, is deliberately connecting a cue or a trigger to a state of mind so that you can recall that state simply and easily at any time later on. But first you need to anchor that state in. So the new desired state needs to be anchored in 
any kind of motion. It might be whatever you choose, but I'm choosing the hand squeeze today. So let's just take you through a simple state change technique process. So if you like, you can join me now and you may close your eyes. It does help to go back into a memory. So I invite you now to close your eyes. Now, remember an event when you felt really joyful. What would it be like if you experienced this state again? What if a superhero gave you magic powers so that you would have this unshakable joy in your life all the time? Do you know someone who's often joyful? Is there someone in your life who always has this vibration of joy? What it would it be like to step into them and experience this state for a time? Like imagine stepping into their body and feeling that vibration they always seem to emit wherever they go. Now, if you were the most joyful person in the whole world, what would it be like? So build a bubble around you now and push everything out. So in your mind's eye, build a giant bubble around you. Nothing can get in but love, light and air and you're safely inside this bubble. And I want you to just feel that peak state of joy right now. Really intensify the feelings within your mind. Feel it within your body now. Feel that peak state of joy. And notice, this is the awareness exercise we need to do to really bring this intensity up. Notice your body right now in this state of joy. Notice your face. How is it? What is it doing? Is it tense? Is it relaxed? Notice your smile. Is it relaxed or is it a smile on the inside or the outside? How about your eyes? Are they tightly shut or are they gently open or are they just neutral? And what about your throat? Does it feel relaxed or tight or something in between? And your chest, are you breathing slowly or breathing quickly? Is it deep or, or fast? And what about your stomach? Is your stomach tight or totally relaxed? And can you feel the breath in your stomach in this state of joy? And then your legs, how are they? Are they tense or are they softened and relaxed? Are you um, sitting or standing in this position, in this state of joy? Just assess the tension throughout your body. How are the muscles? Are they relaxed? Are they tense? Are they all different things but depending where they are in the body? Just take note of exactly how your body is in this beautiful state of joy. Now notice the colours. Notice the sensations and notice the sounds around you. Are the colours bright? Are they colourful? Are they intense? Or are they soft, subdued, relaxed? Are the sounds loud or quiet? Are they um, regular or intermittent? Are they gentle or disruptive? What about the sensations? Are you, is your body displaying pulsing or um, tingling? Or is it numb or something in between? And Keep focusing on how your posture is. Is, is your back straight? Is it, is it feeling like that confident pose or is it really relaxed and softened in this state of joy? And what are you saying to yourself in this state of joy? What are you telling yourself is true? Or is your mind silent and still in this state of joy? And if you are speaking to yourself, what is the tone of your voice and the speed and the volume and the pitch? and the pace. And in this absolute state of joy, what are you focusing on? What's important in your mind's eye in this experience of joy? What is the main focus? And what else are you focusing on? Really get clear on what the focus is here. And now I want you to enhance the intensity of all of the things we just went through, how you feel throughout your body, the colours, the sounds, the sensations, the way you're standing or sitting, what you're talking to yourself about, um, the tone, the volume, the speed, uh, what you're focusing on, all of these joyful elements that are creating this state of joy. I want you to increase the intensity. Basically bring everything in closer to you. So if you feel everything, just bring that in feeling to a more intense feeling. If you can see everything, bring that picture really close and vivid and bright and vibrating at a higher intensity. Make the sounds louder. Make the sensations throughout your body more intense. 
Now, what are you believing about yourself in this very moment in your peak state of joy? And what I want you to start this sentence with is I am or I have or I can and then the belief statement that you are saying to yourself in this state of joy. I am the belief statement or I am, I have this or I can. And say this three times over, whatever your belief statement is. And as you channel this state, I want you to squeeze your hand really tight. Just squeeze your hand. Feeling that intense peak state of joy, squeezing your hand, really anchoring this in to this physical movement. And when you're finished, you may open your eyes. So I've just done a really very brief uh, run through of the state change technique for you. Now, a thing to note is if you regularly stack that anchor, stacking an anchor means that you continue to throw in that emotional state of mind into this physical movement throughout the day. So whenever you are catching yourself feeling joy, you'll squeeze your hand. And you'll keep doing that all day long, all week long. And eventually you'll get to the state where you absolutely just squeeze your hand and you fully access that peak state of joy again. It's pretty powerful. So whenever you squeeze his hand from now on, you'll be able to channel that powerful state of joy. And, you, and the thing is, you can use any kind of state of mind that you want by doing this process. So you can do the same thing for confidence or peace or just a feeling of bliss, whatever you choose. You just have to access a memory. The mind doesn't know the difference. It's a very powerful experience you can set up for yourself. So this is very useful. Like I said at the beginning, extremely useful, especially when you want to be um, where you, when you're shy or, you know, lacking a little confidence or feeling a little down. Um, this is a very great way to train our body and our minds uh, so that we're consciously changing our state. I hope this has been helpful for you. Now, this is, I want to make a little sub note here, and that is that the importance of feeling emotions when they come up. So I do, most of my videos, I talk about the importance of expressing emotions as they come up. Um, we've spent our whole lives repressing emotions. And so what I want to encourage you is not to try and change an emotion that wants to come up through a state change technique. Uh, just use this technique for when you really want to harness a state change for a specific activity you need to do. But if you have certain emotions coming up, I would invite you to fully experience those emotions to allow them to come through, um, to validate, to acknowledge them consciously so that you can release them uh, in a healthy way. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe and share and have a beautiful day. See ya.